Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let's take a start. Uh, I'm Zahur Islam, and today I will teach you about the uh, second-line drugs uh, which are used in the treatment of tuberculosis. So, anti-tubercular drugs. So, they are classified into uh, two categories. One is first-line therapy, and this is the second-line therapy or second-line drugs. So. Uh, now let's uh, take a start. Okay, uh, second line drugs, uh, the first one is it includes cycloserine. So cycloserine, it belongs to uh, second light anti-tubercular drugs. Cycloserine is bacteriostatic. So uh, bacteriostatic mean uh, it can only inhibit the growth of microorganism, but it cannot kill it completely the microorganism along with their spores. The mechanism of action or mood of action of cycloserine so it can interfere with the cell wall synthesis so uh, this drug can directly uh, block the uh, cell wall uh, synthesis these are also called uh, it can interfere with cell walls in order to uh, stop the growth of microorganisms which are responsible for tuberculosis that is mycobacterium uh, these are the various side effects which are reported by the uh, uh, literatures. So, uh, side effects may be reported, uh, uh, they are reported in the form of neuropsychotic manifestations, uh, suicidal tendency, convulsion, psychosis, nephrotoxicity. Another one is uh, second line drugs and tuberculosis and anti-tubercular drug that is uh, uh, ethanamides. Uh, the mood of action or mechanism of action is just like isoniazids, which I have already explained in my uh, previous slides. The side effects which are reported after the uh, administration of ethanamides, so they are, uh, these, these are the side effects which are reported here. Uh, it may be in the form of psychosis, may be occur, hepatitis may be occur, so these are the side effects. Peramenosilicilic acid, uh, it can be represented by capital letter PS, so it's mood of action, mechanism of action, they are responsible to inhibit the or to stop the polic acid or folate uh, production or folate synthesis. The side effects which are reported after administration of pyramidosilicilic acids, though, uh, so these are the side effects which are already given here that may be hematological, megaloblastic anemia may be occurs, hypothyroidism, uh, hepatitis and hypokalemia, low level of potassium in the blood and hypersensitivity may be occur. So these are the side effects which are reported by the pyramidosilicilic acid according to literature. Uh, now let's see table 15.5 recommended doses of anti-tubercular drugs. Look at here, this is drug and it's milligram per kg body weight and this is the maximum and milligram per kg and daily maximum three times per week dose now look at here isoniazid which can be represented by capital letter H uh, which uh, uh, can be given at the dose of 300 uh, milligram its maximum dose is 300 milligram isoniazids it can be given uh, uh, especially on the basis of uh, body weights uh, uh, 5, uh, 4 or uh, 4 to 6 milligram per kg body weight it's uh, uh, daily uh, maximum uh, dose is 900 milligrams, so it can be also given at uh, uh, 10 to or 8 to uh, 12 milligram per kg body weight, three times per week dose. Another one is reform piscines, which is also, uh, you can say, the first line therapy of anti-tubercular drugs. So reform piscine, it can be represented by capital letter R's. And uh, uh, its dose is uh, 8 to 12 milligram per kg body weights and its maximum dose is uh, 600 milligram or uh, in another view you, you can see here uh, 10 or 8 to 12 milligram per kg body weight or its daily maximum dose is 600 milligram Phyrazinamide can be represented by capital letter Z and its uh, maximum dose is 600 milligram and it can be given at the dose of 20 to 30 milligram per kg body weight while uh, the here uh, look at here that is all 35 and 30 to 40 milligram per kg body weight and maximum dose is 600 mg 
Another uh, first line antitubercular agent that is ethambutol which can be represented by a uh, capital letter E. Uh, so its uh, maximum dose is 600 milligram and it can be given at the dose of 15 to 15 to 20 milligram per kg body weight. So the daily maximum dose is 600 milligram. Ethambutols can be represented by capital letter E. Uh, as you uh, you must will have to remember uh, this point should be noted that ethambutol cannot be given to the children because it can stop the growth of long bones if it rises. So it can be represented by capital letter E, uh, 15 to 20 milligram per kg body weight and the its maximum dose is 600 milligram. Uh, now look at here uh, in, in another sense uh, three times uh, per week doses uh, it can be also given to the patient of 30 to 25 to 35 milligram per kg body weight at the uh, daily maximum dose of 600 milligram. Streptomycin can be uh, represented uh, by a capital letter S so that is streptomycin which can be given to the uh, patient at a dose of 12 to 18 milligram per kg body weight mean average is 15 milligram per kg body weight and its maximum dose is 600 milligram while the daily maximum dose is 1000 milligrams so here in this case 15 or 12 to 18 milligrams per kg by body weight it should be given to the patient for example if the patients over 60 years ago 10 milligram per kg or 500 to 750 milligram per kg intramuscularly so uh, as we know that this is adopted from the treatment of tuberculosis guideline fourth edition you can check it here this is according to some proper reference 210 who geneva now come to our table uh, 55.2 this is a uh, category wise uh, treatment uh, regime for uh, tuberculosis adopted with WHO guideline in 2010 this is category this is intensive pace because there are there are two phases one is intensive intensive phases one is first line therapy and this uh, one is the second one is second line therapy this continuous pace and this is duration and months and these are the comments <laughs> Uh, look at here in category first uh, uh, new patients uh, so uh, look at here uh, in intensive uh, phase uh, this is 2 h or z e daily uh, it means that uh, first of all before this you will have to clear your concept uh, dst stand for drug sensitivity testing and dot stand for directly observed therapy h or z e s mean this is actually the standard codes for isoniazids uh, rifampicins or rifampine pyrazinamide ethambutol and streptomycin respectively while this sign is used for the uh, this is uh, numerals uh, indicate the duration of phase or the total duration n months look at here this sign i have already mentioned here look at here now uh, this sign uh, this is what this is empirical uh, standardized mdr regime in the country specified depending upon local debt and situation the, like indian regime and fee so this is the treatment of tuberculosis and the special guideline who world health organizations uh, these are uh, according to a proper reference now lo look look at here a new patient uh, this is uh, two and uh, you can say uh, the numerals uh, numerals uh, indicate the duration of phase or total duration in the months so it should be given daily h or z e which i have already mentioned here this is the standard code for the uh, isoniazid rifampicins uh, uh, phyrazinamide ethambutol streptomycin respectively this is continuous phase uh, this is seconds I mean this is second uh, 2s and this is 4s so uh, this is h or daily so h or daily means standard course bar uh, isoniazid rifampicin pyrazinamides and its duration is almost that is uh, six month and uh, these are the comments which you can see here uh, and optimals this is optimal the second one is uh, 2h or uh, daily and intensive pace uh, while here uh, 4h or this is uh, thrice uh, weekly it should be used a uh, tds uh, thrice weekly for uh, a period of six months it is acceptable if dot ensure if direct observed therapy ensure then it should be used for the mean for the uh, six months and this is continuous space mean uh, it should be used uh, for uh, these drugs can be used anti-tubercular drugs can be used thrice uh, weekly while the 2HRZE uh, uh, you can say TDS are thrice weekly and the 4HR this is also thrice weekly so uh, look at the comments so except uh, this is acceptable at the dot ensured and no HIV uh, co-infection or its so its duration is six months The second one is previously treated patient pending DST result. 
So uh, look at here uh, this chart uh, 2HRZDS daily uh, plus 1HRZE daily which I have already mentioned here DST mean drug uh, sensitivity testings and dot mean direct observed therapy and already I have uh, recorded uh, each and everything so below the table so you can see here this is 5HRE daily. So it means ethambutol, pyrazinamides, and uh, and simple words rifampicins. So this is what this is R is rifampicin. This is ethambutols, and one is isoniazid. It means that uh, five. This is isoniazids. This is uh, ethambutols, and uh, this one is uh, rifampicins. So uh, then at its durations. Uh, is eight months per patient with lower medium risk of MDR uh, regimes so which is the standards uh, empirical standardization actually MDR uh, regime in a country specific depending upon local data so this is uh, really easy to understand so uh, look at here risk of MDR TB failures default etc uh, the empirical one is standard MDR regime is uh, empirical uh, standardized standardized MDR regimes so its duration is 18 to 24 or till DST result for the patient with high risk of MDR TB failures and the uh, second default uh, contact of MDR TB etc okay uh, now look at here tuberculosis and pregnant women now let's suppose a, a, a female or a woman and she's pregnant so what uh, what kind of drugs uh, we can use it especially in total nine months uh, look at here 2 hre plus 7 hr mean uh, you can say thambutol uh, rifampicin and isoniazids uh, as for streptomycin which is contraindicated because it is autotoxic it may cause autotoxicity in the uh, fetus this is very easy to understand uh, z uh, is a symbol which is for phyrazinamide z is used for is the restraint word phyrazinamide phyrazinamide is not recommended due to like apidicate teratogenetic teratogenicity data treatment of breastfeeding women all the anti-tubercular drug they are compatible with breastfeedings full course should be uh, given to the mother but the baby should be watched the infant should receive the BCG, bacillus calamity grains vaccination and six month isoniazid preventive treatment after ruling out active tb Chemopropylaxis. Chemopropylaxis, this is indicated only in number first one is uh, when there is uh, uh, contracts of open cases uh, who show a recent uh, Montox uh, convergence. As we know that Montox test is usually performed for the treatment of tuberculosis. I mean before starting therapy, before starting treatment, so lab diagnosis, this is very important in order to clear, to investigate the actual case, the actual uh, problems. After that, you can prescribe a medication to the uh, patient. So that's why Montox test, this is also performed for the uh, tuberculosis and it has its own procedures. The second one is children with positive Montox and a TB patient in the family. The third one is neonates of the tubercular mother. The fourth one is patient of blood leukemia, uh, blood cancer, diabetes, silicosis or those who are HIV, human immune deficiency virus positive or they are on corticosteroid therapy who show a positive Montox. The fifth one is patient with old and active disease who are assessed to have received in adequate therapy the standard drug for chemopropylaxis of uh, TB is uh, isoniazid is 300 milligram mean 10 milligram per kg body weight in ch children so I mean that uh, uh, isoniazid uh, its dose is 300 milligram and it should be given to the children a dose of 10, 10 milligram per kg body weight in children daily per six months because of spread of isoniazid INH resistance a combination of H5 milligram per kg and uh, reform reform fina reform is 10 milligram per kg its maximum dose is 600 milligram which I have already uh, uh, which was already given in the uh, tables uh, which we have already discussed so the uh, daily given for three months is prepared in some uh, you can say uh, in some cases in some areas now let's see here uh, tuberculosis uh, in AIDS patients uh, so initial uh, intensive uh, pace therapy with daily uh, HRZD for two months is started immediately on the diagnosis of TB and then it is followed by the continuation, continuation pays of HR. 
mean uh, isoniazids uh, as well as rifampicin for 4 to 7 months total 6 to 9 months so this is the treatment overall pyridoxine 25 to 50 milligram per day uh, is routinely uh, given along with the uh, as soon as it to contract with neurological side effect which are more likely in AIDS patients. Tuberculosis in AIDS patients, so all HIV positive TB patients should also receive cotrimazole, preventive therapy at least throughout the anti-TB regimes. Rifabutines, which is a less potent enzyme inducer given for 9 to 12 months may be substituted for rifampicines. Take home message, all the first line drugs are bactericidal except ethambutol. So you must will have to uh, point out uh, this is very important and you should notice all these things. All the uh, first line drugs they are bactericidal except ethambutol. So while the most potent first line drug is rifampicin or rifampicin, drug acting uh, well in acidic and intracellular environment, pyrazinamide, which can be represented by capital letter Z. Drug acting in intracellular plus extracellular environment, that is rifampicin. Drug acting on rapid dividing and intermittent dividing bacilli, rifampicin plus pyrazinamides. Another one is drug causing blindness that is called ethambutol which I have already told you that let's suppose ep ethambutol can be given to the children so there may be chances of reducing there may be a chance of reduction of growth of epipysis bo 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 growth of lung bones so during um, acting extracellularly and in alkaline medium streptomycins. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching uh, this presentation. So this was all about the anti-tubercular drugs uh, which are used in the treatment of tuberculosis, first line therapy and second line therapy. So I have already recorded three lectures on anti-tubercular drugs. Inshallah my next lecture will be on the uh, especially nursing interventions, uh, especially uh, regarding anti-tubercular drugs. Thank you so much. So if you have any question regarding my lecture, so you can directly contact me. And you can comment uh, me, inshallah, I will answer you. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much.